Hi, welcome into this special Advent edition of the Lockdown Lectionary. Uh, we're taking a look at some Advent ideas inspired by Quinn Caldwell's excellent Advent devotional, All I Really Want. We welcome you and, and hope that this contributes to the joy and the festiveness of this Advent season. So it's the week of Christmas and we're going to be taking a look at two of the main players in this story that we celebrate this week, Mary and Joseph. What makes them tick? What do they bring to the story? Why are they so important and how have they been understood over the millennia? Well, we heard today's reading last week, but it's not going to hurt anything to read it again today. It's the Magnificat, Mary's song. Her response to the angel Gabriel, and it comes from the first chapter of Luke, verses 46 through 55. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham, and to his descendants forever. Well, there's at least one Christmas carol out there that talks about Mary being meek and mild. And while that can be a comforting way for us to think about Mary as the loving, coddling mother of Jesus, whoever wrote that hymn doesn't seem to have ever heard the passage that we just read. So let's think about Mary for a moment today. First of all, she survives being an unwed mother. Hard enough to do today, but much more difficult in that time and culture. Then, if you follow along with the story, she and her young family become refugees, fleeing a deadly king set on killing her young son. On top of all that, she has the responsibility for raising a child that she knows has come directly from God. And I'm sure teenage Jesus was probably just as much of a troublemaker as many young men are today. Oh, she was also present to watch Jesus die. Not much of a meek and mild life, for sure. And even if all of that didn't happen, just consider for a moment what it is she proclaims in the song we read today. Mary was likely a teenager when she became pregnant, and yet she has the wisdom and the vision to proclaim a beautiful and challenging message of justice and hope. As Quinn Caldwell writes, Mary's a Rosa Parks. She's Elizabeth I. She's Joan of Arc. Or she would be, except that she's the one who formed the one, who enabled all of those others to do what they did. Meek and mild, indeed. Let's pray. God, fill us up now with your Holy Spirit and make us total rebels, just like Mary. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me for this episode of the Lockdown Lectionary. In the comment section below, you'll find a link to the musical selection for today, as well as a link in order to purchase Quinn Caldwell's devotional book. I'll see you next time, but in the meantime, be safe, stay at home, and wear your masks. Peace be with you.